What's up guys, Ted here from the A-Team here to share with you how to use Vectorscope on your new VS5 monitor. Now, Vectorscope is a quantitative way to measure color in your image. Everyone sees color differently, and different monitors can fall out of calibration, meaning that they're not actually proper ways to judge your image. Using Vectorscope, you can actually measure the exact data being captured by your sensor, and it's a more accurate way of seeing your color. Vectorscope is a target-based datascope on a traditional color wheel divided into six sections based on primary colors and mixed colors in between those six sections. Now, if you use proper color correcting software such as Lumetri and Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, or Color Finale and Final Cut Pro X, this scope should be familiar to you. Now, to understand how this scope can help you understand what the values mean based on your shot. The level of chrominance is measured from the center to the outside. So the further this indicator stretches from the center of the chart, the stronger the chrominance. Zero color is represented at the center. If you're ever shooting on a green screen, a vector scope can be the single most important assisting tool in helping you achieve the best exposure and ensuring ease of keying out your subject. For example, if your talent is wearing a color the camera may perceive as similar to your keyed background, using vector scope, you'll be able to see how long that line stretches down the chrominance scale and how close it is to your background color. If the line length is similar length and close to the color key color, then it might be useful for your talent to change clothes because it might save you hours in post. One more useful application of using vector scopes on your VS5 is achieving proper white and black balance, or darkness balance. If you point your camera at a white card that fills up the entire frame, using the vector scope, you can see where the color is shifting, most notably in the highlights. Now, the vector scope reads to orange when you're seeing just something white. That means that your camera is off balance. For instance, if your camera is set at 5,000 Kelvin and you're reading a little too orange when you put that white card up with your lights, then dial your camera down to where that line is as small and as centered as possible. In this case, we had our camera set at daylight white while using tungsten and daylight balanced lights, so we need to adjust for the mixed colors of the two. Now, if you replace the lens cap on your frame and you see a totally black frame, this is where you can do darkness balance. Using vector scope, if the line is anywhere but the center, that means that you're getting a color shift in your shadows. If you don't have a camera that can make fine adjustments to correct that, oftentimes restarting your camera will do the trick. Or running your camera for 10 minutes or more can help dial in that camera. I know it sounds strange, but a lot of the time it'll work. Well, I hope that helps you better understand how to use one of the many professional assisting tools available on your VS5. Now, for more tips and information on Aperture products, subscribe to our YouTube channel, see our Aperture user group on Facebook. I'm Ted from the A-Team, and we will see you guys next time.